What's up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of the Team of Lashawn on YouTube. I'm your All host, Corey Murphy. And I'm Al Val. Of course, Big Rue, the executive the producer. Right you know. women to torture. I, right I don't know. torture women. I today, we're going to talk yeah, about today. females. Got some bitches. Who the fuck said that? Who the fuck said that? Oh, 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 shit. 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 You know, we got to get in touch with our feminine side. They always say, women don't say we got to get in touch with our feminine side. I'm going to tell you right now why you need to ignore that. Why? Because a lot of times, I'm not going to say every woman, but a lot of times, mm -hmm. when a woman be talking all that, I want to see him be more gentle. I want to see his nicer side. I want to see his feminine side. And all this other crap, you show that side. You show your kindness. You show your sweetness. You show all that good stuff. And then they start treating you like you's a bitch, and they go after the nigga that treats them like shit. Mm -hmm. So why show that? I'm not saying you shouldn't show it. If it's a party, you show it. But at the end of the day, fuck that. Don't put on any airs for no fucking body, male or female. Be your motherfucking self. How about that? Thank you. He's right. You, you, know, you know what? You know what? It's gonna make. And you, and know what? Wanna, you know what? I want. You know what? That's another thing. Dread I'm no longer the raging bastard. I had to put the kibosh on him. He went through some shit last year, and Mr. Raging couldn't handle it very well. So now? So if y'all niggas read comic books, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, pick one the fuck up. They're better than you think. Thank you me. can call me Dreadpool. Right. Why? Because I relate to Deadpool. Because that nigga's crazy, that nigga loathes everything, but he still somehow finds a way to put on his costume, go the fuck out in the world, and talk a bunch of shit with a smile on his face. You got a valid point. Wade Wilson. In this case, but I guess we need to talk about that. Thing. Well, now oh, yeah. we just got it started. Oh, yeah. Now I got it now. I'm, I'm, and fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. you been talking, yeah, he's right about women because, you know, I don't want to talk about it, but I'm just going to give it subliminal. You know, I went somewhere last Friday, you know, uh -huh. chill and all that. Uh -huh. And then I'm, I was trying to get at these girls, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And yeah. one wasn't feeling me. I said, okay. I tried to get the other one, try to give her a little lap dance, but she Try wasn't feeling. Mr. Dashing. <sighs> Shut up! You trying to be you? I, I, I can't lap dance. I, I improvise. You can never be like me. Well, you shut the fuck up. That's why I'm glad I'm one of a kind. So anyway, oh. as I was saying when I was rudely interrupted, basically I try, and then she just pushed me away. And then she tells me, "Well, I got crush on dude." So I'm like, "Okay, I'll back off." You know, no means no. And dude does not one but two lap dances in his boxers because he was twisted. Twisted. Yeah, he was twisted, he twisted. was drunk, and then he's doing this not once, but twice. I know she got horny, but then moments later, he takes sh other shorty into the bathroom and start, I haven't seen him for like, I haven't seen him in an hour, an hour and a half, and it's me, her, and some other dude, and she, we listening to sad songs and slow songs. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah. fuck no. Yeah. Oh, that's a definite book. Hell yeah, no. yeah, and then Sad next, songs. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, and then nah, well, not sad songs, some sad. slow joints. No, they, they, they don't well, hear sad songs. They hear old school songs. Well, we heard well, yeah. we heard different music, but then she looks at me like I just like looking at you. I'm celibate. It's I'm chronic. not. Chronic. I'm not, chronic. How, I like how I'm the only one standing. How the fuck she's celebrating all of a sudden? Bullshit. Okay, bullshit. can I can I uh, say something about that? Right. That's a yeah. bunch of bullshit. Yeah, a bunch How of the fuck you celebrate and you've been through it? Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, shut up. I'm talking now. Right. First of all, that is a bunch of bullshit. Yes. If you're gonna be celibate, then be celibate. But right there, that is the most stupidest excuse I ever heard. Somebody say I'm celibate. If I'm if, if I'm gonna be celibate, I'm gonna admit that. Yeah, I'm celibate. I admit it because for real. But my thing is why all of us, first of all, my thing is why would you all of a sudden you're celibate after you get two lap dances from Sun and that? That right there is a hypocrite right there. Can I say something? Go ahead. Please. You're celibate after you get two lap dances. Okay, maybe you are celibate. Maybe that turns you on for a second. I don't know. But here's my thing. It sounds to me like she was making excuses instead of just simply saying she wasn't interested. Exactly. What a lot of women and men, I'm not going to just blame women because men do it too. What a lot of motherfuckers need to understand is sometimes it's best to be straight up and hurt a motherfucker feelings then because at least they'll respect you later. And if they can't respect you later, then it wasn't worth your time in the first place. So here's my thing, brother. She wasn't interested. That's how I'm seeing it. 
She didn't have the guts to tell you. But you want to know something? At least, I, at least when a woman say no means no, I back off. That's my mm -hmm. thing. Respect. No but means no. And going. another thing, also, I want to touch on is also, you know, when I talk to son the next day, you know, we cool and all that because I remember back then somebody told me when I, you know, when one chick rejected me, they said. You need to pursue her. I mean, yeah, you get rejected. No, 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 Really? You Bye. can't pursue people that don't want to be pursued. Thank you. Are you fucking crazy? Thank you. Oh that motherfucker don't have no common sense. You be more specific about what you're saying. I'm being, no, 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 not me. No, I'm saying, Jack. I'm getting close to the camera because I'm somebody who's gone through that for his entire life. I just turned 34 last Wednesday. Oh, congratulations. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we I know, I'm, and I hear it all the time. I don't look it, but yes, I'm 34 years old. Born 1980. I'm old. Okay. <laughs> But listen, they say, somebody, I look, they say I look 40 something. Man. I'm taking I'm it from 30. a serious I'm taking it from a serious standpoint for a moment. Now I'm usually the guy who's angry or the guy with the jokes, but for a moment I'm gonna be serious to touch up on what they said. When it comes to pursuit, it's one thing if the girl you're trying to holler at isn't sure. Mm -hmm. But if she lets you know she's not sure, even if she's bullshitting, even if she wants to see if you'll take it that far, walk away. Because a real woman's not going to play those games. Either she likes you or she doesn't. Either she wants to be with you or she don't. Granted, a woman will change her mind. She might not want you one minute and she might want you the next. And in some cases, it's for bullshit reasons. And on top of that, like I said, I've been there, done that. It's like, why yeah, try to pursue You ain't the only one that's... I, I, I hate, I, hate, I, I know. know. My, thing, shh, my thing is, Fellas, my on. thing is what I say is... Do not pursue something that's He's unpursuable. Like listen, listen. Do not, pursue, do not pursue something that's unpursuable. No. That's like me. That's like, check it, check it, check it. That's like me doing this to you. I'm, I'm doing this, and boom, I bumped onto you. Still no success. I mean, no disrespect. All right, let me tell you what I was going to say. It's not so much don't pursue, because some people are worth pursuing. Sometimes you might have somebody who might play hard to get. Like, she might be like, oh, I'm not interested, but you know damn well she is, and vice versa. But here's the thing I'm saying. It's not that you shouldn't pursue. Make sure the pursuit is worth it. And make sure you know what you're pursuing. You know what I'm saying? Because you might be pursuing something for one reason, and you might you might be needing to pursue them for another. You might pursue them for another reason. You might be needing to pursue them for a third. Or you might be pursuing them, and you might not need to at all. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, and then I'll go back to being my usual angry self and get the fuck out your faces. <laughs> at the end of the day, ladies and That's gentlemen. That's what they like. Shit. Is not that simple. I wish it was, but the thing that men and women need to understand is we all make the same mistakes. We just make them in different ways. Okay. That's all. We make the exact same mistakes. We are the same, yet we're so different in the way we approach things. We could sit here and argue about it for days. Men and women are never going to agree. We just have to learn to coexist. Mm -hmm. Women out there that play with men's emotions, stop it. Because guess what? You either have never had your done, right? Done. Or You've been played with, and you forgot how the hell it and they And they, they always say, well, y'all men play with our emotions first. I'm on it. For the men that play with emotions, stop it for the exact same reason. And women, stop saying, y'all play with our emotions first. Men, stop playing, nah, women are vindictive. Look, we're all fucked up. We're human. We make mistakes. We get it wrong sometimes. Sometimes you think you're with the right person, and it ain't the right person. Exactly. So get the fuck out of here. Chill out. Learn to coexist. Coexist. And just start being real with each other. Maybe we won't have these problems anymore. Jesus. And He's right. You know something? I Dreadpool agree. is right. Dreadpool is absolutely right. Dreadpool. But I wanted to, Dreadpool. But I wanted to talk. That was a big show. Yeah, he knocked you out. Yeah, that was fucked up. Was a small motherfucker. You got knocked out. Shut your fuck out. K.O. <laughs> you lose. Continue. Hell oh. yes. Uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna take off his glasses again. Yeah. Oh no, real Val. Let me put it like this. Real Val. The day somebody knocked me out, it's gonna be an ass whipping. I'm gonna stop a muscle. It's more angle. like retribution. Yeah. Ah, okay, I was take bullshit. Take nah, but I'm on the real. Guys. Hey, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, 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 we, got, guys we only got a few minutes. Go ahead. On the real note, I'm gonna just wanna say this. Uh, good. Yeah, I'm good. You good? Okay. Here's the real talk. Uh, here's here's the real talk. I'm Come I'm on, Bell. I'm sorry. On the, here's the real talk. Seriously, this this society is so fucked up in the head. Mm -hmm. It is. It's so twisted. 
When we're going to come together and say, you know what, I'm really feeling you, but not now. But it takes. Take your time. But there, there's a, my friend, my, a good friend of mine told me a long time ago, time waits for nobody. There's a time. Listen, you this captain, is, captain, mm -hmm. captain Negro. Listen, like, there's a captain fuck what you America. said. Shut up. Coming up next. It's the fan mail, you asshole. Hold on, hold on, hold up, man. Why? No, y'all can't be doing that shit. No, what, motherfucker? I've been quiet the whole time. No, no, not you, JJ. Okay. No, but seriously, I'm going to speak my mind. Real fucking talk. Get your shit together. Amen. So, right. stop, stop, stop blaming on that next dude. Look, stop blaming each other for everything and just look exactly. at yourselves. Exactly. Coming up next is the fan mail. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Team I'm going to smoke your shit and calm my ass down. Disrespectful, motherfucker. Oh, man, this nigga's bugging. Nah, I got Yo, who that? Who that sneaking up on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Really, dude? Hey, he snuck up on you. I had to take his face off. And sorry about the thing.